Jadim here. Today I have a news of the weird story for you. I thought there was going to be like a, a, an intro, like a news of the weird intro that comes flying in onto the screen. So anyways, for today's news of the weird, at Kermit Elementary School in the Kermit School District of Kermit, Texas, nine-year-old- You shall not pass! So, at Kermit Elementary School of the Kermit School District in Kermit, Texas, nine-year-old You Aiden... shall not pass! So, at Kermit Elementary School of the Kermit School District in Kermit, Texas... You shall not pass! What are you doing? Well, I'm informing you that you shall not pass. Shall not pass what? Well, the, the bridge. What bridge? Well, okay. Let's say that you're an evil creature of shadow and flame with the powers of the Ainur, and we're in a cave and you're chasing some friends of mine across a bridge. I'm just letting you know that if we were in that situation, I would not allow you to pass. Why are you doing this? I just wanted attention. So, at Kermit Elementary, nine-year-old Aiden Stewart was suspended for bringing the Ring of Power to school. That's right, shortly after watching the latest Hobbit movie, nine-year-old Aiden brought his own Ring of Power to school, and after telling a fellow student that he could use this ring to make him disappear, was shortly thereafter sent home on suspension. So the boy's father sent the school an email stating, I assure you, my son lacks the magical powers necessary to threaten his friend's existence. If he did, I'm sure he'd bring him right back. According to the principal of Kermit Elementary, Threats to another child's safety will not be tolerated, whether magical or not. And sure, that statement makes the whole thing seem pretty ridiculous, but... Here's my take on the thing. Just because the boy's father says that Aiden doesn't have the ability to forge a powerful magical ring with the ability to rule all other magical rings, which seduces people into wearing the ring, making them virtual slaves of its maker, doesn't mean that this is true. I mean, it's very often a normal response for parents to go into denial when their kid has a problem. I see absolutely no reason to take this father's word for it that his son is not wielding some sort of deadly, powerful, dark magic. So, granted, I mean, you're probably watching this saying, but it's just a ring of power. I mean, what harm is a ring of power that turns people invisible? And you know, you're probably right. It's probably just a harmless little invisibility ring. No danger, no threat at all. Except that rings of power are known to be gateway magic. Sure, today it's just the one ring, but then tomorrow he's bringing the Elder Wand into a bank or into the White House. I mean, for all we know, he's already hiding horcruxes all over Narnia. He and Dr. Jekyll could at this very moment be planning a getaway on the Millennium Falcon to hide out on planet Arrakis and steal all the unobtainium from the... 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 what, what the do you call those blue things from Avatar? The Na'vi, that's what they're called, the Na'vi. Aiden Stewart poses a direct threat to the Na'vi, and he needs to be stopped. But if we act now, before this thing gets too out of hand, there is absolutely no reason why Aladdin and Princess Elsa shouldn't be able to take care of it. So, those are my thoughts on the subject. Do you have anything to say? I do. I have something to say. You're a wizard, J-Dub. Oh, cool. Was that it? Just, oh cool? Well, I was expecting this to be a profound, meaningful moment of soul discovery where you start to realize your true potential. Eh. Huh. Whatever. So, what do you think? Do you think Aiden poses an imminent threat, or do you think I'm just tinfoil hatting it? Comment below. Jade about. So really, here's why I believe the real 2015 looks different than the Back to the Future 2015. You know, because the, they, they knew exactly what 2015 was supposed to look like, and it just it went wrong. And this is why. 
When Marty McFly went back to the year 1955, Biff's gang was waiting to jump the Marty McFly from the previous movie. Current Marty McFly dropped sandbags on their heads, killing two of them. The third one was inspired to dedicate himself to saving people's lives and became a firefighter. This firefighter saved Steve Jobs from a burning building early in the